that wasn't easy. Calling my broker. <laughs> First night I got here, I think I went out on the town and there was, uh, there was an amazing bar fight chairs flying and everything else. I'm like, oh yeah, this place has potential. Montana was always home, but it wasn't enough. I wanted to go where I could get away. There are too many people in Montana for me and then came up to Alaska and I said, I'm not leaving. I fell in love with Alaska as soon as I got here, primarily because of the type of people that live up here. And there's a lot of camaraderie. People come to Alaska because they don't quite fit in anywhere else. And then of course the aviation, it's the aviation capital of the world, you know. So I'm an aviator, I love aviation, so it's a perfect fit. The only way to get out off the road system is to fly out. There's a whole nother world that's there that you never even knew existed. The term bush pilot, it, it has multiple different meanings. It could be anything. You could be flying floats off of remote lakes. So you could be flying a ski plane off of glaciers. You could be flying a big tired bush plane. Aviation in Alaska in general is critical. I just did really enjoy backcountry type flying. And then that naturally just leads you to Alaska. I'm sure you've seen some things and have been a part of some stories. Do you have any favorites? Uh, favorite stories? I've got some, uh, Unfavorite stories, I guess. When you come to Alaska, you have to have a healthy respect for it. A lot of people that don't do that, they get bitten by it. Since flying is the only way to get around here, I mean, we assist in uh, accidents and other tragedies. It's not routine, every day is different. I've said probably more prayers in my life in the cockpit of an airplane than anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> 